<laughs> okay, match is on. Um, CHH moving out now. Uh, yeah, this this speed this speed long range power list is definitely playing to their favour a lot. I mean, we've talked about um, FSAC and their uh, the you know liking of the long range game uh, in the past, and uh, I believe their setup is definitely gonna definitely playing into that sort of category of, uh, of, of play for this match, but I don't know how it's going to fare against uh, against this CHH list, which to me looks very well-rounded. Um, good bit of anti-brawl and a lot of PPC and rangefire, I think, overall. Um, I'm going to put my money with, uh, with CHH this round. I'm going to have to... Okay, and as a, quick, as, a, as a quick recap, uh, one FSAC is sporting a... Uh, a, uh, an MK2, a Mad Dog. Oh, uh oh. Wait a minute, I think we've got a problem here. One of the mechs just disappeared on 1F sack. The uh, catapult just disappeared. Um, oh, no, it's there it is. still there. It seems to be having possible connection problems. Yeah, that's definitely warping. Um, we will have to wait and see if. He Lieutenant Brad actually disconnects here, which could be even worse for uh, FSAC since the match has already started and they're not allowed to reconnect. Right. He seems to be walking ahead and then warping backwards and... But wait a minute. Nope, he's still doing the same thing. We have not gotten the uh, disconnect message yet, however, which is... Now... Now he is stationary, Lieutenant Rad. Okay, well, CHH are moving in from the Southern Pyramid, south side. Um, they're pushing ahead with their Shadowcat Zeus. Looks like he's scouting out the enemy group. Crash Angan's definitely putting some narcs in there um, for his LRMs and the rest of his buddies. But the angle currently means that these arrows are not going to hit these CHH players. He's they appear to be, be tucked behind that pyramid. He's actually taking a oh. reasonable amount of counter battery fire here. Um, and we are Missiles not... loose, but they are way far away from their targets. Current focus fire appears to be on Colt Mina, the uh, Vulture B, which is taking LRM fire from the uh, artillery of FSAC. And we've got the disconnect. Disconnect is confirmed. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. As this is the trial for the Legends Arena rules, rules currently state that once the game has begun, the disconnected player cannot rejoin. So unfortunately, FSAC are going to have to play without that catapult. Yeah, I think they realize that, and they are pressing up a little bit on the uh, CHH position. Krashigan's got to be real careful here not to lose that Hawk Moth because it is their only NARC unit currently on the field. And the Raven they pull up cannot NARC. It has only a tag laser, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Confirmed on the drop list of Calc. The 1F sack uh, heavy hitters are kind of holding back here. I think they're waiting for a They really need to Krashanga needs to get a NARC on that low key. Judging from the angle, however, if they coordinate this well, they could actually probably down one mech in a salvo. We have Sturm Adler out by himself, kind of out in the open there. And that Puma really can't take too much damage, especially if it's coming from arrows. FSAC needs to get away from these bases, though. They're far too close to the turrets at the moment. I'm getting some long-range PPC fire from Sturm Adler. I'm not sure if he hit anything, however. VTOLs uh, definitely climbing up to a quite a high altitude. Yeah, I don't okay, have we've the, got some. Uh, don't have the VTOL in the chat screen. there. They're questioning as to whether they're hanging too close. Can't say that I blame them. Down one mech already. Had one of the CHH members actually take a pot shot at one of the base turrets. Um, I'm not sure if he's getting frustrated there or what. Maybe they're preparing for a push. Um, I'm just trying to 
think of the clarification of the rules at the moment in regards to base terrorists if it's um, only on engagement by base terrorists to forfeit the game. They're, um, See it. The one F sack bulk of um, lethal is still in the air, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's it's it, quite high up there. Seem to RTB for ammo um, just a moment ago. We've got Zuos out here ranging by himself out by the North Pyramid face. Um, I think he might have landed a few PPC or Gauss shots on some of the FSAC members. But if Crashigan spots him, he's out in the open there. He's very vulnerable to this heavy artillery. But in all honesty, I am seriously surprised to have not seen any arrows fired yet. I think they're just waiting for a good confirmation on the NARC. I saw one fired earlier, but it had an incredibly odd trajectory and just slammed right into the ground. Sir Madler is in the um, crouched position trying to, um, I think, bring his PPCs to bear on the default. Not an easy shot to make, sir. Oh, right. and we have an ARC fire. I wonder if it went hot. He fired another one. That's a hit. That's a hit with an arrow. And we have arrows launching. Here we go. Okay, that was the tall fire on Scrimmage. He's not going to get out of the way in time. And that oh. is heavy damage on that. We've got more missiles incoming from the Vulture Sea and the Raven. That was CHH. a long time strike. CHH is pushing around some side of the pyramid. Oh, Scrimmage is down. We've got him out in the open now. If Crashman can get more narcs on their units there, um, it's possible that. Oh, wait, no, we have some direct fire going on. LRM's on not killer, that's the Loki taking some damage. CHH is pushing up away from that pyramid now. And they might have gotten a narc on that Loki, let's see. No, no arrows launched, so they probably didn't. This, um. Narc's hit, Narc's hit the Loki. Oh, and we have arrows the battery away. fire, here we go. Oh, that's in trouble. That might actually take that Loki out. Oh, it's gone. Oh, my, it's down. Oh, man. Rashagan is, is yeah. creating all kinds of havoc on the uh, CHH team. And we've got more direct fire. Um, CHH is actually in trouble now, although I do not know where Zuos took off to by himself. He was in a scat, wasn't he? Yeah, he he's was near the C3, North uh, C4 rocks. Oh, I have him. I think he's making, he's making his way into the, uh, on the uh, right hand side there, coming in towards one uh, F sack. FSEC has to be real careful yeah. they do not back up too far here, though, because if some base turrets start firing at Zuos, that is a forfeit. Oh, really? Death has taken, uh, yeah, yeah. Death has taken heavy LRM fire anyway. He's lost an arm. Uh, he's taken quite heavy back damage. His shadow cat's in trouble. Yeah, they are definitely pulling back way too close to base right now, but we have Execute getting a line on Zuos. Let's see if he gets any hits in or if Zuos took good cover. Nope. Good cover. Colmina seems to be caught up in the buildings a little bit in the center of the map. One more knock and that Vulture B could be in trouble. It depends you on how much ammo they actually set aside for narcs here though, because Crashigan is actually not narcing, and he's not returning to base. You, you, would, you would think 1F sack would just go after uh, two O's. Oh, but the rest of his team is joining him up the middle. It's a 3v3 with the mechs at least anyway. CHH needs, needs to be gold. There goes Death Shade. Death Shade down. 2 vs 4. This isn't looking too good for CHH. Actually, Boy, if this Vulture B can get in, we have Colmina coming in on the side. If he can get close enough in where the artillery is not a problem for him, he could potentially... Oh! We got a base yeah, turret. Terrors. Terrors oh, fire covered there. By Colmina on the rocks. Uh, uh oh. That right, could, that could be a forfeit. Long Toms. Oh! There we go. We have, we've also had Down an ejection goes. by uh, Rejord here. I'm not sure if it was intentional. He's getting back in. And Colmina just went down. Down goes Colmina. This looks like one F sack is going to take this. That's it. Did you guys copy any... Uh, Turret fire from the one F sack base. We on did the indeed enemy. get um Colmina did indeed get shot at by the two left turn base turrets here, so it may actually and be a video. We've got um, uh, video evidence of that, right? 